Hello guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you an amazing AI tool that can generate stunning images and create designs from simple prompts. The AI tool we are going to be talking about in this video is called Stala AI and is unlike anything you have ever seen before. This Stala AI is a powerful a image generation tool that offers users control over image composition and style. With this um, Stala AI, you can create anything you can imagine, okay? From realistic portraits to abstract art to um, beautiful AI images okay and much more which I'm going to be talking about in this video so all you need is a text prompt or you can generate an image from an existing image then modify the image using this um, Stala AI website so now we are going to open the web browser in the search box here just type in Stala AI this is the spelling it's going to show up on the screen. The link will be in the description of this video, Stala AI. Enter on your keyboard and you're going to come to this first um, Google homepage where you will see the first link here. Click on the link and it's going to open up an interface like this. What you have to do is to sign up or you can log in if you already have an existing account. To sign up, simply click, click on the sign up here. But to log in, if you already have an existing account, you can use the login button here. So I'm going to sign up. Let me assume you don't have any existing account with this um, Stala AI. Now you are going to click on the sign up button. Here is going to show us continue with Google or you can use your email and your password here. For this, to make it very simple for me, I'm going to continue with Google. But if you want to use your email and your password, you can simply do that. After entering your email and your password, click on the I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy and click. If you click on the agree, then click on the continue and you are going to be signed up okay but for this i'll be using the continue with google click on the continue with google and it's going to give you uh, the google accounts on your device for this i'll be using one of my google account which i have used for this website before and it's going to give me access scroll down you see we have um, popular styles on this website this website is very very good because there's a lot of styles that you can generate AI images from. If you can see, this is a realistic image. Uh, like you can see the kind of images I've been able to generate using this realistic image just using a text prompt on this website. If you scroll down, you will see there are a lot of styles that you can um, choose from. Don't worry guys, I'm going to uh, walk you through how you are going to do this okay so just pay attention and watch this video to the end right. if you want to start a new project all you have to do you can see we have new project here all you have to do is to click on the new project and you are going to come to an interface like this so at the up here we have the move tool we have the hand grip tool with this hand grip tool you can drag your um, canvas anywhere you want then here we have the auto select tool we have the lasso tool when we um, import our image I'll show you how to use that tool then here we have the text tool where you can select that then click on your canvas and write any text of your choice I'll also show you how to use that then over here if you click here you can change change your aspect ratio okay you can also rename your project so let's call this project um, beach because we are going to be creating a, a a beach um, design in this video so you have to watch to the end of this video so that you know how to do this all right so we are going to name our project beach then let's scroll down this is the canvas um, dimension you can simply insert your own dimension here click inside and write your own width then click inside the height and write your own height then if you scroll down you can see we have you can choose um, aspect ratio from any of these aspect ratio this is the one by one three by four 9 by 16, 4 by um, 3, 16 by 9. Why I like this AI, this Stala AI, is because if you are generating an image and you choose one by one, when you generate that image, it's going to take the um, aspect ratio of the square size. Then the same thing with each of these aspect ratio. Okay, so let's make use of the one by one and click on the apply. Okay, when you click on that, it's going to apply. Um, take your canvas is going to take the um, aspect ratio of the one by one then if you can see up here your um, design has been renamed to um, the beach which we use then over here we have the zoom to okay you can zoom to 50% if I click on that is 50% you can uh, fit to screen okay it's going to fit this to screen then if you go here we have the undo and we have the redo 
okay then over here we have the 200 points these points renew every seven days after seven days this point will renew the initial point if you are signing into this website for the very first time is going to be 200 okay all right then here you can give feedback to the ai um to the styler ai team then over here we have the export but the export button is not active now because we haven't done anything um in our canvas and let's go back to this place here we have the import images that's when you want to generate an ai image from an image that is when you use the import images i'll show you how to do that later then here we have the text to image so this ai uh, website we can generate text to image we can also generate image from an existing image so we have that then over here we have our layers we'll talk about that in a bit okay I'll show you how to do that then at the downside here we have the um, styler assistant this um, assistant is very cool because you can just um, tell the assistant what you are looking for and it's going to automate a prompt for you and you are going to see how we are going to use that in this video to generate an image from an existing image all you have to do is to come up to the import images click on the import images and you are going to select the image you want to generate this image from for this i'll be selecting an image from here from my device so that's all you have to do select an image from your device so you can just download an image from online or anywhere you want and simply import that so select the image and click on open and this image is going to be uploaded so this image has been uploaded if you can see over the layer panel here over this layer panel you can see we have uh, one layer which has been uploaded here okay so, uh, if you click on any of this image you will see we have the insert we have the remove object and we have the remove background i'm going to show you how to use this letter in this video so stick to the end of this video to find out how we are going to do so what we are going to um, create in this video is this design from just an ai combining ai images using only this website now we have imported our image to generate an a, another ai image from this image all you have to do is to click on the image to image here select the image click on the image to image so if you should click on that here you will see um you are going to see um the stellarize at the bottom side here so here we have the structure match so if you can see if you um, adjust this it will adjust how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of the content structure okay so if you in, in, um, reduce it it's going to um, reduce um how where the new generated image is going to match the original image that you uploaded so i'm going to take this to um seven all right then i'm going to go over here so from here you are going to choose a style that you want so depending on what you are looking for so here we have the realistic if i should pick this this image is going to generate it's going to be very very realistic but let me scroll down what i'm looking for is the kind of um a kind of holiday vibe which is um is going to be like a beach design so i'm going to scroll down and over here you are going to be using the piece of holiday so i'm going to click on that here you can auto um input a prompt but we are not going to do that you are going to go down and click on the stellarize yes then your images is going to start generating so you can see at first it's going to generate four four images on any stellarize that you do so here we have um going to generate our four images so let's just sit tight and see the outcome of this from the original image you can see the kind of images that it generated that it is very very cool look at the kind of images so to place it onto your canvas all you have to do is to click on each of them to select so if you can see we have selected the four and over here stagging area you can see that um, the four images has been stacked so now place on canvas click on that and all your images is going to be placed on your canvas layer by layer so if you should go to your layer panel here you can see we have all the layers stacked over each other just like photoshop or any other um, design tool that you have so if you um you can if you over your mouse over the um any of this layer you can see the eye icon by the side here which is the visibility of this um each of this layer if you click on one you can see that it um turn off the other layer you can see the layer is kind of faint so click on this other one to preview all your layers so you can see we have been able to preview all our images okay so now we have four images if you are not okay with this um image or you can also go back and regenerate it okay but pay attention each generation you do is going to minus it from your point 
here okay i'm going to show you now how to import an image from your device and use that image to create a design for yourself so to do that let's just um click on import image again import an image again so now this is the image i'm going to um, be importing i downloaded this image from online so just click on this image i will leave a link to for you to download this image in the description of this video so if you want to practice you can go ahead and practice with this okay so we have this image now to scale up this image all you have to do if you are using your computer hold shift on your keyboard so that um this image doesn't um um skew down just like this so that's what we are avoiding okay so if you made a mistake i want to go back you can simply use the ctrl z on your keyboard to um go back so when you import this image immediately you import the image you are going to see insert remove object and remove background what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the background from this image to do that select the image then over here you can see remove background so i'm going to click on that and i told you that this website is so so nice and cool so this image has been uh, the background has been removed so you can see the image so let me quickly show you how how to insert an object onto your image using this website so select this image we want to add an eyeglass over this guy this um little guest eye so to do that click on insert and you are going to come up with a brush tool look at the brush tool all you have to do is to brush over the area you want to insert that object and give it a prompt so see how i do this now click over the eye i want to insert the eyeglass over the eye so immediately you release your mouse you are going to be um, prompted to an option like this here you are going to write what you want to insert here for this i want to insert an eyeglass so type that in and type tap on generate and it's going to generate um a variation for variation for you so let's just see what comes up you can see that you can see what we are we have so you can click on each of them and see um the one that you like so i think we should go with this so i'm going to click on done okay so you can see we have an eyeglass there so let's just um place this here so we have this so we delete the original one which is this go to your layer panel look at it go to your layer panel right click on it and click on delete and that will be removed so we have this the um, new image here okay so um let me quickly show you how to remove an object from your scene to do that select this if you want to remove an object simply select the image tap on remove object and paint over the object you want to remove okay so i'm going to paint over this all right so i will click on remove and you can see that was removed but um i don't think that is a good job so i'm not going to work with that but um um we are not going to remove that object but that is how you remove object from your image so we are going to place this girl here now we want to um talk about how to generate a an image using a text so um go over here go over to your left hand side here we have text to image so click on the text to image and from here you are going to input your prompt for this i'm just going to write a dog um i'm just going to write a dog sitting down a dog sitting down and i'm going to choose my style now let's just pick the caricature 3d so i'm going to pick that then i'm going to um, click on the starterize to get my image and here we have our image so you can see our image so i'm going to select this and um, this um click on the place to place this to your canvas so we have this so what we are going to do now is to remove the background which is this i'm going to click on remove background from this image and um, let's see the outcome okay so we have this so let's just delete this other one and we have this so this is how you can actually create a design so let's scale this down to balance it holding um shift on your keyboard you can scale it down just place it at the bottom side here the next thing i'm going to show you is how to talk to the ai assistant on this website to do that simply go down here and you're going to see the ai assistant now I'll click on the new chart to start a new chart with this assistant so you can just explain what you um, are looking for if you can explain the kind of image you are looking for so for this i'm going to write um i'm going to write um bells in the sky so i'll hit enter on my keyboard and let me wait for the ai to give me a prompt so you can see it's saying an, an image capturing a vibrant sky and all that so this is the cool thing about this you can send to image to image you can also send 
send to text to text. So I'm going to click on send to text to text. And what it's going to do is going to send it to a, a um, the prompt over here like this. Then all you have to do is to pick your style. So for this style, let me simply click the classic doc work. Then click on stylize and let's see how what the result is. We have this here. So that's how you can talk to the AI assistant on this website so this is our design so now let's simply add a text to this design to do that click on the text um tool here then click on your canvas and let's write our text so for this text let's um say um holiday party so with this text you can use this to um scale it down and um, scale it up like this or you can scale it up or you can make align it to the center align it to the left here you can choose um, a color for your text but let me leave it at black you can make it bold you can make it italic using this but let's just leave it here then here you can choose font from um, the drop down menu that we have here so you can just should choose your font from there okay so um, click on this font and let's copy this right click on it and duplicate so let's take this down and for this let's um, call this party so we are going to place this here okay so we have this let's combine this um this, this um layers together and get an exciting design from this to do this all you have to do is let's um, delete all of this okay so this is it so now to get an exciting let's mix um these designs together this element the dog and the um guest child the and text together so that we get just one design to do this simply go to image to image and um, from here you don't have to choose anything you can just choose your style from here but for this let's maintain the piece of holiday then click on the style arise and let's see what comes up to this okay guys so you can see the outcome of this using just um this ai tool is so simple and unique so let's just select the one that we like from here and click on the place on canvas so we are just placing this on our canvas so it's just as cool as this so you can see we get just our design from um adding images importing images and adding text to this so this is how you can use this um Stellar website to import this we have option click on the import and here you can select your file type either png or jpeg then you can select image size so you can go with 3x it's going to give you a very good quality okay so um let's choose the 1x and here you can export all layers you can see it's going to export seven pieces which is what it's going to do is it's going to export these layers um separately that's um the text layer the image layer the dog layer the um get child layer separately so you can see seven pieces if that's not what you want you can just export only one piece like this and click on the export but when you are doing this it's going to export only the first layer let me show you it's going to export only this first layer so what we want to do let's just delete all of this since we have gotten our final design let's just delete that and now let's export two layers so that we can have this and this so click on the export button and click on export all layers so you can export all your layers but um pay attention to this you can see what we wrote here was holiday but it is this to another um text so um to avoid this you can just maintain um you can maintain you can um go back and do it again okay all right i hope this um ai2 is going to get better as time goes on as new updates is going to be coming up so now let's export two pieces and click on that why um your layers is going to be exported asking you where to save this so i'll click on um okay so when you export this it's going to export this as a zip file when you're exporting more than one layer it's going to be exported as a zip file so all you have to do is to go to the file the um, location where that file has been exported and unzip that file then you can get your images and that's that for this video now to try this website the link of this website is going to be in the description of this video go there and check out this website create your own design and send it to me let me see how um this website helps you let me know in the comment section if you have done this like this video subscribe to the channel for more updates on this website i will see you in my next video